it is very, very late at night and I'm kind of spontaneously filming this video because this stuff has been on my mind and I just want to break it down for all the, I want to see beginners, but amateurs kind of apply to that as well. Just very fundamental website building steps, apps, color schemes, copy tips that you can use to make your website stand out because in this day and age with shrine theme and all these other mass produced and sold themes it's very hard to make a good looking website that stands out easy to make a good looking website hard to make one that stands out so we're gonna talk about it i own a clothing brand and this is my website this website has been meticulously designed over tens of hours down to the spacing it is quite literally perfect and it is not a pre-built theme this is based off of the default spotlight theme from Shopify and that is custom coded by me using a few helpful apps and ChatGPT as well. So let me break it down. Tip number one is just kind of best apps to use if you want your store to stand out. Pretty simple stuff. The app that I use to make these sections in this store look absolutely fantastic, mainly would be Section Store. It's a very underground app. Look it up. It's old and it has fantastic apps for you to use. This homepage, Section Store. I just messed with the margins, filled in the blanks, and wrote my own copy, which I'll get into in a second. Copy is very important as well. This feature collection, section store, section store, section store. It's all section store. Fun fact, these waves are section store and they're completely free. Cool stuff, right? That is the apps that I use. As far as order tracking, track one, two, three is going to be your go-to order tracking app. It's great. Never really fails. And let's go ahead and head it over to a product page here. This is a custom liquid. If you guys want these custom liquids, just comment that you want them and I'll respond to your comment with the custom liquid. As far as apps on the product page, I don't use many. This again, custom liquid. This is a default drop down, very simple, and some more section store features here. If you want to do bundles, quantity breaks, whatever you want to call them, use Kaching Quantity Bundles or Bundle Bear. They both cost money, not a lot of money, and they have free trials. So, you shouldn't be spending any money realistically as long as you're keeping it underneath that two week mark of use when you're testing the actual product. I'm also going to throw in a little logo creation here because I do get a lot of questions about how to make logos. The very pleasant answer is it's probably the easiest thing you'll ever do. Most people make crappy logos because they overthink them. If you look at the logo on my website, it is just our name in cursive. That's it. As inspiration, you can use the design tab in Canva and just kind of find a design that you like, but I don't recommend just directly copy and pasting the design. I recommend finding a font that you think fits your website's vibe. And perhaps like, let's say, and I think that this font is really good. I love this font. I'm going to delete literally everything but this font. And I'm going to type in my brand name. And this is my logo. It's as simple as that. Obviously, change the color to the corresponding, you know, accents to your website. You should, by the way, color tip squished into the logo section here. You should only have three colors on your website, white, black, and an accent color of your choice. And that accent color is going to dictate what color your buttons are, your logo is, small, tiny things like that. And the accent color is usually the most outstanding color of your product. So that's a little cheat code to help you come up with that accent color a bit quicker, but don't overthink logos at all. Mine is just cursive and my accent color is, if you haven't already noticed, purple. So I took one singular letter and I made it purple. And what, what a beautiful, incredible logo. Don't overthink logos. Use the design tab as inspiration. Never directly copy it because too many people are directly copying like the top half of this design tab and all your logos look the exact same. Just add your own little creative twist on it. You'll be okay. Don't overthink it. It's not the most important thing in the world, but at the same time, it will send a message about your brand. So make sure that the logo matches the vibe. If you're selling some playful kids product, logo probably shouldn't be in cursive. It should probably be very blocky and playful like this. And we will get to copy in just a second, but if you follow these tips and you make the best looking website you ever made, which I know you will, then you'll need a supplier who can withstand your order volume when you're pulling in tens of thousands of dollars. So who do you use? The answer is obvious. It's AutoDS. When is it not AutoDS? But if that's not good enough for you, we got handpicked products. These speak for themselves. Handpicked. They're handpicked by people and it shows when they were picked. And if you want to know more about it because you like the way it looks, I challenge you to find a supplier that gives you more information. Saturation score, engagement score. You no longer have to DM me and say, Adam, is this product saturated? Because this tells you right here. It tells you literally who to target, your target audience. No more wondering who your target audience is. It gives you some ad examples along with all of your competitors, which is just insane. That's crazy. Imagine seeing your website on AutoDS as a competitor. That'd be, that'd be wild. And if you need ads, they have AdSpy. 
You can niche down between Facebook and TikTok. I like selling on TikTok, so I will use TikTok. TikTok shows you TikTok videos, obviously, but not just any TikTok videos. The best performing ads for particular products so that if you can't find anything that you like in the handpicked product section, you'll definitely find something here. Use this as inspiration to find products. Pro tip, reverse engineer it. If you want a free trial, because you just want to test it out, the first link in the description will take you there. I'm leaning back in my chair now because we begin to wrap things up. The last and arguably most important topic of this video, writing resonant copy. That is going to make or break your website. Your copy is the seal of approval on your site. It brings everything together. It is the glue that holds everything you just did together. Nothing matters if your copy is not good. And the key to writing good copy is to not copy anybody else. You need to connect with the customer. And you can do that better than your competitors, even if you're a beginner, I promise you. Put in more effort than your competitors. That is how you stand out. You need to replicate what they're doing, and that means improving their copy. The number one tip that I can give on how to better resonate with your target demographic or target customer when you're writing copy is a little mental trick that I've been using and telling people to use for the longest time because it works. If you're selling to, let's say, your target customer you've identified are females in their 20s, most of you guys will sit there and try to think about how to talk or speak or connect with a female who is in her 20s. And most of us as dudes, we just don't really know how they talk. We don't know how they work. We just don't. So we end up coming off looking very stupid and very fake when we try to write copy that connects with them. Too many hearts, too many lovey faces, too many all caps sentences. It looks fake. You look like a fed. So how do we fix this? Here's a short and simple mental trick that you can implement to help that. Instead of trying to write to an entire demographic, I want you to establish your target customer first, meaning how old are they? What do they like to do? Literally create a fake customer in your mind. Give her a name, an age, hobbies that relate as to why she would buy your product. Literally give her a life wrapped around everything that you see in a customer that would buy your product. Create a fake human being, the perfect customer, the person you would want TikTok to show your ads to so she can buy your product, the person that is most likely to buy what you are selling. And instead of writing to an entire demographic, millions of people potentially, write to them, write to her. Just write very personally to them, that one person. I promise you, if you just do that, it will make your copy come off as a lot more real because you are being more real. Naturally, you've tricked yourself into being more real. You're now writing a letter. Make sure you spell your words correctly. Make sure you stay professional, but you're now writing a more personal letter to that one customer. And odds are 99% of your customers are going to be like her or him or whoever your target customer is. But that fake customer demographic avatar has helped me out so much with writing copy because none of this matters if your copy sucks. I promise you. Same goes with your ads as well. Learn how to write ad copy. That's for a different video, but it goes hand in hand.